Hey there friends, so I finally got my June bookish box. I feel like it might be a little late seeing as it's uh, August now, but the items are still good regardless of when I get them. I just got done filming the item part, so I'm really excited to show you what came inside this month's box. The theme is snake in the grass, and here's what was included. So as always on top, we have the info card. This is gonna list all the items and give credit to the artist. I'm not gonna look at this too much right now, but I'm gonna reference it as I'm going through the box instead to make sure that, to check not only what book it's from, but also what artist helped make the item. Then something fun I like about this box is that they have the set the mood playlist on the back, and they have a photo challenge as well. So the first thing that caught my eye was this little ring. I like that they've been doing jewelry in a lot of the boxes. I think it's fun to wear a bit of my nerdy reading. It says the Bridge Kingdom, but this strikes me as the snake on the Serpent and Dove cover. So I'll have to look into that. I wonder if I've read the Bridge Kingdom. It's not ringing any bells as of right now. But we also have a quote from the book. And yeah, just a little tab on the back to help get the ring out of there. But that's cute. I like that a lot. A little snake and a little star. And the info card doesn't have an artist directly credited. So I guess this is just credited to the whole bookish box team. Friends, so the next thing I grabbed out was the monthly pin. So I'm kind of excited to see what this is from. Her bit of the dress says one Mary kill. I'm sure. Usually the back says what it's between. Oh, the shadows between us by Trisha Levenseller. And the pin's designed by Elisa's world. Really like this. I feel like this is a nice uh, iteration of that main character from Shadows Between Us. I forget her name, but she definitely had a lot of spunk. So next I wanted to do the candle and the accompanying bookmark. The smell was quite strong and caught my, I guess not eye, I guess nose. So we got the little wood wick in here. And let's see what those flavors were supposed to smell like. So antique suede and black tea. It might just be the graphic on here, but seeing all these shelves full of books has me thinking it kind of smells like old books too. And then for the bookmark, we've got this lady here in the park. And then that, that other character again, which the candle says is Henry. So let's see what series that's from because it's not jumping out to me. Oh, okay. These characters are from The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which I think was by V. Schwab, but it doesn't say on the info card. It does say, though, that the artist on both of these is a bookish team favorite, uh, Nicole Deal. So the next item came in this box, and it says portable straw, but this seems very short and squat to be that. Let me pull it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's this like kind of blush, almost off-white color. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be collapsible. I love this iridescent shimmer. So, yeah. Kind of telescopic straw. Oh, and it's got, it says something on it. I don't know if I'll be able to focus on it. It says, in my heart, I am as wild as the ocean from To Kill a Kingdom. It's still on my tree list. I haven't gotten around to that yet. Oh, and that's nice. It comes with a little, well, this is a very little. I don't know how you would get to the middle portion. I already have a bunch of reusable straws, so that'll be nice to add to the collection. I don't know if I'll use its increased mobility, though. Can't quite seem to get it to go back in. Well, it still fits in here, so maybe it was that long to begin with. And after checking out the item, I checked out the info card, and it doesn't give direct credit to any particular artist, so this, this collapsible straw is credited to the bookish fam. I guess I thought this was some kind of packing thing, but it feels like two metal plate things. Let me pull it out of its packaging. So I had to check the info card because we've got this nice graphic and then like a little stand so it can stand there. But I didn't really put two and two together until I read the card. And it says that these are bookends. Use your new A Court of Thorns and Roses inspired bookends to spice up your bookshelf. Give it that witchy vibe it needs. So again, no direct artist credited for this, uh, for this graphic. So I'm guessing it's just somebody uh, that works on the bookish team. But we've got strength with like a line and heart and infinity. I'm the rock against which the surf crashes. Nothing can break me. And then we have some hands and a heart and some sun rays. And it says the lovers to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. I think the printer is maybe going out a little bit on this one though, because I see lines. At first I thought it was like ruled paper or something, but I don't think that was the in intent. It doesn't really show up on the camera, but whatever. So the last thing before the book is this little card that on this side has a lot of information about the book, a little bit about what it's about, a little list of all the special features that the bookish special edition has. 
and then a little note from the bookish team as well. And then on the back, we usually have a sneak peek at the artwork for the next month's box, which as I'm checking the info card, that is indeed what it is. The artwork is done by at morelove underscore art. And this is the YA theme. It's inspired by the book, These Hallow Vows. And the theme of next month's box is high stakes. So it looks like we have two elf boys. I see some pointy ears hiding there in the shadows. And then uh, a redhead with a sword. That sounds like my kind of book. And the last and most exciting item, the featured book. So this month's book is Gold Spun by Brandy June. And then we've got a continuation of that gold carried over to these sprayed edges. They're not shimmery, so they're just a golden yellow, but I am a sucker for the sprayed edges. I do like the kind of styling. This kind of reminds me of like an old storybook with some of the imagery and stuff, but the first thing I can't help but be annoyed by is we have a lot of space here in between the line and the edge of the book, a medium amount of space here, and such a tiny amount over here. But my design eye wants everything to be even. And then so we have that motif kind of carried over to the back a little bit. And we have these fun end papers, like a little medallion kind of thing. Oh, and this is fun. I feel like every edition has a reversible jacket cover, but we don't always get these embossed covers, so that's always fun and exciting to see. Just a little sword and a crown, which I feel like is a very telling of like a high fantasy adventure, so I'm excited. And I hope that's what we're gonna get. Let's take a look at the book jacket before we get back into the book. Looks like this old storybook vibe is carried through to this as well. It reminds me of something you might see in an old storybook or perhaps even on a tapestry. I'm wondering, since it's called Gold Spun, if this is Rapunzel, since she's got long gold braided hair, or if this is like a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin, because he looks a little creepy and there's a lot of straw all around. And so he's supposed to spin straw into gold. But I don't want to read the inside of the jacket cover. I like to go in as blind as possible to these kind of books. That way I'm as surprised as possible. So let's see what other, oops. So let's see what other fun bits we've got. A little bit more of that end paper continuation with the artist's signature. A little bit more of a continuation with that end paper and the author's signature. Oh, and then we have the gal. Again, maybe it's Rapunzel. Maybe it's the gal featured in Rumpelstiltskin. Or maybe it's some third thing I haven't thought of. And then we have the title page and we start to get into it. All right, so that was everything in the June bookish box with the theme of Snake in the Grass. And the book that was featured in this month's box is Gold Spun by Brandy June. It just hit me. I'm sure somebody planned this, but I love that uh, her last name is June and she's featured in the June box. I just tickled me pink. I also feel a little silly because I usually try to avoid reading any of the text on here when I get these books this way, since I know I'll be reading it anyway. That way I'm as surprised as possible. But I did read Rumpelstiltskin on the back, so now I feel silly for thinking that it was about Rapunzel at all. Oh well. I gotta say, I wasn't particularly excited by any of the items this month. They were all just kind of a miss for me. I either didn't know the series or book or haven't read it, even if I had heard about it. Uh, but just by looking at the items and what they are, I went ahead and picked the favorite of the ring. I really like the little snake and the star. I think they're cute and maybe, and I think it's something you can appreciate even without having read the book. But that's my little overview slash unboxing of the June bookish box. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I just wanna thank you so much for checking it out. Till next time, bye.